What's going on traders from around the world? This is Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Real Life Trading. Hope you're doing absolutely sensational. It is Friday, Friday, November the 20th. Thanksgiving is next week. Hope you're all excited about the holidays. The weather here is beautiful in Nashville. The trees are pretty. Don't really know what I'm doing this weekend. Don't really have any big plans to speak of, but uh, we'll be keeping an eye on the markets. Let's hop over here. Uh, right now we're at Walmart. Might as well talk about Walmart. Just kind of wrote, uh, was talking about this to Ken Freeman here in the uh, day trading room, which we have Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern. So Walmart, our last analysis on this one was on the 17th of November. And we mentioned that I think Walmart trades into the 50 exponential, which we hit today and yesterday, after some small pullbacks on the hourly. So the small pullback on the hourly occurred on the 18th, day after we wrote that analysis, and then trade into the 50. So now my thought process on the 50, I was looking at Walmart earlier today and thinking about going bearish on it intraday, 6096 by 6150. My anticipation is that Walmart will likely pull in to this little support level at about 59.25 and then possibly bounce. I'm gonna really need to see something strong down there though because the 62.47 support on Walmart is the truth. It's a really, really strong support. I'm gonna come out here to a monthly chart just to show you uh, how strong that support is. And the fact that we broke that and broke that trend line, I think this is a retest and I think Walmart continues lower. A lot of retails have gotten hit hard recently. Um, for sure, Black Friday numbers could pop or could cause Walmart to pop a little bit. But overall, I'm looking to short Walmart at whatever opportunity I have. Likely pulls in to the $43 area maybe a few months from now and then probably resumes what uh, was a 10 year long distribution channel that really did nothing super exciting. So longer term viewpoint, that's my thoughts on Walmart. Here's the DIA, which is the ETF that tracks the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And the DIA uh, missed my limit pullback by just a few pennies. I wanted to pull back this little move right here, missed it, entry was 171.53. We got some action though on the spider, so I'm not totally missing out on this one. But as of right now, the DIA, I'm kind of anticipating we might get something like this, maybe. Maybe we get something like that coming into the you know December, into the end of the new year, and then continue higher, possibly. Probably saying that's maybe like a 30% chance. Other percent chance is uh, next week and the rest of the weeks, we probably continue to trade up into some all-time high resistance territory area on the Dow Jones. If we're doing some wave counts, we can do something like this. And again, that would kind of take us up into here. So I don't know, we'll see if that's gonna be the case. Uh, it could happen, might happen. Here's the SPY, which is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500. And the S&P 500, I'm actually looking at this particular swing trade setup right here. Brian Shepard and a few others got some put sales. As you guys are aware, we were buying the bounce back down here on the SPY. That happened, it worked out great. So if I come in here to the hourly chart on the spiders, we have ourselves a really nice pennant pattern. We got a black candle on the hourly, stock gapped up today. I was looking for a bullish move. Um, Steven Steckler and Patricia did a really good option trade this morning to lock in a little bit of profit on the SPY. Justin Linderman missed it because he was at work. Work always getting in the way. So at this point, my thought is, if the pennant pattern's gonna work, we'll probably pull in a little bit. And then my plan is to do a limit buy at 208.83, stop at 208.06, and then Looking for some hopeful bullish continuation throughout the holiday action, potentially on ticker symbol SPY. Let's look at a few other stocks. Here's Caterpillar. Caterpillar up 1.23% today. I am slightly bullish on Caterpillar longer term. I think this is an island reversal down here, which is a pretty strong bullish reversal chart pattern in my opinion. Brian Shepard's got a $67 put sale, which is going to go to Options Heaven today, along with a covered call at 76. Uh, really, at this particular point in time, we got a weird-looking pennant pattern type of thing right there. If Caterpillar closes above the high of this candle, which was 70.99, so if we close at 71 today on Caterpillar, I think uh, I think it'll be a little bit more bullish, right? Bullish to non-directional on Cat. Ticker symbol CHK did some analysis a while ago for a $5 put sale. Right now, CHK is at $5.12. We have um, about two hours left for the market, so anything is possible 
on CHK. So this $5 put sale is expiring today on CHK. Got six cents for that particular put sale. That's gonna get really, really close. So we'll see exactly um, how that plays out. Netflix, a really good move today at 123.71. Um, with the real life trading, trading view, we did post, uh, we want to buy on a pullback on Netflix is about 115. Didn't quite get it on November 18th. So just missed that by about a dollar or so, but I do have a few good friends and some other traders in Netflix. My target on Netflix is 126.17. If Netflix gets to this area, I think it'd be a great place to sell some covered calls. Uh, or you could just sell if you are in uh, position on Netflix. Apple, not doing much today, up barely from the close of yesterday. Really what it's doing, in my opinion, is just kind of filling this gap, hanging out at this resistance, and likely, I'm assuming, goes higher. Great gap that we had on Wednesday. And again, Brian, Shepard, Ray Rue, they have some put sales at 116 expiring this Friday. Brian Bodie has a 128 covered call expiring this Friday. Brian Shepard also has a 126 covered call expiring this Friday. So a lot of options expiring today. A lot of them going to options heaven. It's a good because this is November, uh, the third Friday in November. So you could expect a little bit of volatility towards the end of the day in the markets potentially because, again, a lot of the options are expiring. Google had some good uh, news come out today. And on Google, didn't pull back quite as far as I thought it would back in here. A lot of traders are in some put sales and things like that on, net, on uh, Google. Zane had an amazing day trade analysis on Google. He sent me uh, earlier today, uh, basing this on like the five minute, one minute chart. If I come in here to the hourly, so this is a gap up to the all time high, right? You had a really, really good black candle on the hourly chart. Just a very, very bullish perspective on Google from that gap. So Google's at an all time high. It's gonna likely continue. If you have not traded Google yet, I would wait for a little bit of a pullback and a kind of buy the bounce type of situation. But some FIB targets on Google, 836.04. At some point, I'm thinking it'll reach that, just don't know when, but it'll be exciting to see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, really excited about next week. For those of you who are in the trading floor, either the morning day trading or the afternoon swing trading room, we are closed Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Brad Reed's in Puerto Rico. I'll be in Georgia. This is a great time to enjoy, uh, you know, enjoy the time with your friends and family. For my neighbors to the north or my Americans here in America, <laughs> enjoy your Thanksgiving next week. I will be posting a real life stock review on Monday, and I will be sending out an email about private coaching tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. Just kind of giving you guys a heads up because I had someone uh, mention that I should mention that I do it. Um, and I really don't mention that at all, mention it that often. So anyway, I'm excited. Got a lot of free time next weekend. I hope to spend some of it with you. Ladies and gentlemen, have an amazing weekend. And until next week, remember, love life, live life, enter it. See ya.